So I do want to talk about this book, but I also want to talk a little bit about all of you writing together because I know this is your fourth book that you've written all together. Mm -hmm. So what was the what was the genesis of doing the first book? Like how how did that happen? Yeah, yeah, go. Okay, here we go. Um, I really loved Lady Jane Grey in history. And so I had been wanting to write a book about her, but the uh, idea was so depressing because she's this amazing um, teenage girl who just kind of inadvertently becomes Queen of England. And then after about nine days of her being queen, she gets deposed by Queen Mary and not this Mary, different Mary. And then she gets beheaded. Yeah, and then she gets beheaded. And I just felt like that was the most unfair ending for the coolest, like, character in history ever. And I wished that I could change her ending. And then I was like, well, I'm an author. I can change an ending, you know? Like, um, but I also kind of had this idea that it would be fun as long as we were changing an ending to, like, make it funny. And uh, and then I and then I was really self-conscious about making it funny because I hadn't really written anything comedic before. And, uh, and I thought about, my friend Brody who was like the funniest person I knew who could really write comedy so well and so over lunch one day when we were traveling and had happened to meet up together um where I was traveling we met up together I asked her if she would write this book for me but uh it was a I'm I'm really bad at pitching so the pitch the pitch was this the pitch was we were eating salads and uh she's like you know hey I was thinking about writing this book and and um, it's about um, a beheading. And I was kind of hoping we could make it funny. That was kind of the pitch. And I was like, that's an amazing pitch. Uh, well, <laughs> OK, <not>. <laughs> I'm like, I can make a lot of things funny, but beheadings, like, I don't know. Um, and then I just stuffed a large piece of lettuce in my mouth and chewed it for six months. Yeah. <laughs> We didn't talk about it again for about six months. And then we were all on the other side of the country, and we were visiting. Jody and uh, and I brought it up again. This amazing book that Brody and I were going to write together. Yeah. <laughs> this time she was a lot smarter about it because she didn't say what the book was about. She just said Brody and I are writing a book together. At which point I was like, "Oh, that's so great for you two, pretending like I wasn't just insanely jealous." Um, and then Cynthia was like, "Oh, it's fantasy. Do you want to write it with us?" And unusually. Brody was very <coughs> quiet during this whole thing. And it didn't occur to me until like, you know, much later that she was being quiet for a reason. Yeah, the whole time I was like, don't mention the funny beheading. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so then obviously when Cynthia asked if I would write it too, I was like, yes. And I was just so pleased to be included in the group. I just immediately texted my agent and I said, this is what's going on. And she was like, yeah, good luck. And then about an hour <laughs> later, it occurred to me to ask what the book is about. <laughs> and then we didn't talk about it for another six months. <laughs> wow. <laughs> then I had them in a car stuck on the Los Angeles freeway. And then I was like, hey, let's talk about this book we're all gonna write together. And, <laughs> and then we actually did start talking about it. And then once we started talking about it, it really started to form. And then um, the next day we were supposed to go to Disneyland. Jody to this day has never been to Disneyland. And we were going to take her to Disneyland. But as we were getting ready, we were like, well, we could go to Disneyland or we could go to the library and start working on this book. <laughs> and that's what we did. And we chose the library, and which is crazy because Disneyland is like my favorite place in, on the earth. And, um, and we'd been, you know, talking it up to Jody for a long time. And then we're all, we all just spent the day in the library <laughs> writing. <laughs> it worked out, though. Yeah, and it cost yeah. a lot less. It, yeah, <laughs> there was that. None of us got heat stroke or anything. <laughs> True. We did go to Universal Studios together that week. Yeah, that, we was that, that was fun. A theme park stuck in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is such a bookish origin story, though. I love that. So, and I, I think it's fascinating that you all have done so many books together. Like, that to me is incredible. I... I think if I did one that I don't know if I would do another one ever again, because I'm a control freak. Like what, how do you make it work? Cause I, I think every author has an element of control freak in them. Right. Oh, for sure. sure. I, I mean, I used to firmly believe that I couldn't write a book with anybody for that very same reason, but it, 
when we started writing My Lady Jane and, and the other books, it became our books instead of my book. And I don't know, it just, it felt very different. Mm-hmm. Like, it I was, more, was less, not as hard. <laughs> I was more worried about living up to other, like, other people's expectations and like disappointing people. And that was like my biggest concern is like, you know, if I'm writing a book by myself, I'm only disappointing myself, you know? And so, yeah, it was scary. Yeah. I mean, I think that definitely is part of, you know, mine too. Like I, I don't want to, don't want to disappoint anybody. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that was part of how it worked though, especially with that first book, like, we didn't want to let each other down. So like how we wrote was, and how, how we typically write is we all go to the same physical place and we sit around the same physical table. And then we each write a chapter a day for that entire week. And none of us want to be the one that doesn't finish their chapter that day. Or, you know, like, so there's this, this level of peer pressure that's very like lighthearted and fun and funny. And we have lots of fun and we try to make each other laugh, but like, um, but there is also some, you know, some pressure that comes with not being the one who sort of lets it drop and, and we all kind of pitch in and, and do our part for that, Mm -hmm. for the drafting. So you write the first draft like in a week? (laughs) We write half of the first draft in a week. So like we take a week and by that time, then, you know, um, we have at least about 15 or sometimes 18 chapters by the end of that week. And then we take a break for a while and then we come back together and, and uh, write the second half. And usually that's, most of the book and then if we have a few chapters left we just kind of do that and we definitely outline before we get together so that we don't we're not spending we're not spending a lot of time like discussing character development or you know we're like once we're there we'll spend like the first day kind of um nailing down the chapters and then and then just go from there so you each basically own a a point of view Yeah. yeah yes that's very cool that's very cool no, I love it. I love it. And I love, I love that it has been so successful for all of you. It's just every time I see a new book coming out, it's just because I love all of you. I think you're just such amazing writers. Um, so it's just, it's been very cool to watch this like happen for book after book after book. Thanks. So with, with this one, what made you want to tell Mary's story? Well, I think we wanted to come back into the Ethian world um, of my lady Jane and, uh, and she was a character in my lady Jane, but very briefly as a child, she appears on like three or four pages of my lady Jane. Um, and so when we were talking about sort of spreading out, we, we had latched onto this idea of doing Mary's next. And she was just always the top choice for us. Like Mm -hmm. it was a world we were comfortable with. It was a character we felt like we knew. We're all fans of Rain also. We all, I have a very vivid memory of like being in, in Brody's condo in Utah, like sobbing over over a particular death in Rain. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> like, um, so I think there's that element of it also, you know, it was definitely, it definitely fit the criteria that we, you know, use when we're, when we're picking a character, which is a, person that has had sort of a tragic history that we can kind of a woman who's had a tragic history that we can kind of pick up and and give her a happy ending so we felt like Mary Queen of Scots needed a happy ending 